very warm greetings to all voters on the momentous occasion of the 14th National Voters Day. The Election Commission of India was established on the 25th of January 1950 and that is why we celebrate National Voters Day on January 25th. This year, National Voters Day is all the more special. Over 60 democratic countries will have elections this year to elect their respective governments. India shall be the focus of all as the world's largest and most vibrant democracy conducts 18th Lok Sabha elections and elections to around 8 state legislative assemblies during 2024. This day is an occasion to celebrate voters, youngsters in particular, as central to this great democracy of ours. During 2023, the Commission successfully conducted elections in nine states, where more than around 16 crore voters gave voice to their cherished democratic rights and voted in an atmosphere of fairness, confidence and joy. Elections were held peacefully, with no major incidents of violence and near zero repulse. In 126 villages of Bastar, polling stations were set up for the first time in independent India, where voters came to polling stations without any fear and anxiety. Women voters participated enthusiastically, even surpassing male voters in many constituencies across the nine states. The Commission's efforts have meant 100% registration of particularly vulnerable tribal groups and to enable them to participate in the festival of democracy. In 2024, we will be having the world's largest peacetime logistical exercise of movement of men and materials to enable over 96 crore voters to exercise their franchise, spread over 12 lakh polling stations, throw over 1.5 crore plus election officials. Big thanks and appreciation to our polling teams who traverse the harshest terrains to deliver democracy to the last mile. Our focus has been to make the electoral experience pleasant, all-inclusive and inducement-free. Our electoral role serves as a vibrant and diverse mosaic reflecting the rich diversity of our democracy. Recalling a few lines from Thiruvalluvar's Kural, it is compassion, the most gracious virtues, which moves the world. Reflecting this sentiment, it is the Commission's resolve to make our elections inclusive and accessible. We have over 81 lakh persons with disability as our voters, over 1.8 crore 80 plus uh, voters, 2.5 lakhs are 100 plus age voters and over 48,000 third gender voters registered with us in our electoral rolls. Optional home voting facility is also available for 80 plus and PWD voters to vote from the comfort of their homes. Political parties are the pivot of our vibrant democracy. The Commission bases its engagement with political parties broadly on three pillars. Full disclosures, complete involvement of them and assured responsiveness. Going into general elections 2024, we appeal to the political parties for their continued support and assure them of our fullest cooperation in providing level playing field. Fostering an ethical and respectful political discourse plays a critical role in shaping the democratic process and in influencing our young voters in particular. It is imperative that political parties engage in discussions that inspire rather than divide, that promote ideas instead of personal attacks. Political parties are biggest stakeholders must become our best partners in ensuring an ethical journey. And for the first time voters, I would like to take this opportunity 
to appeal to them to exercise their franchise with full enthusiasm. It is our endeavor and duty to zoom along with zoomers, connect with the young generations to mitigate youth and urban apathy that we are witnessing of late. I fervently believe that this year, 2024, the youth will make a resounding and emphatic statement by coming out to vote in large numbers and also motivating their peers to do the same. Technology has been leveraged for transparency and process efficiency in all aspects of elections. While technology has made possible many enabling features to enrich the electoral processes and make them easier, it has also posed various challenges to the democratic exercise world over. Misinformation, deep fake and use of artificial intelligence are being increasingly used to undercut the faith and trust of the people in the electoral process. We, however, stand very firm in our resolve to maintain a level playing field and foster an informed electorate. Any attempts to compromise this fundamental tenet through false narratives will be met with swift, strong and robust measures to uphold the integrity of our elections. We are confident and committed to give India's approximately 96 crore electors and all stakeholders, including political parties, the best possible electoral experience, truly befitting the largest democracy of the world. Today, on National Voter Day, in the spirit of inclusivity, I end my address with an appeal to each and every one of you, particularly the youth voters, to take part in the ensuing festival of democracy with full vigor and enthusiasm. Jai Hind!